friends now we understood the concept of modern periodic law let's understand the difference between the mendeleev periodic table and the modern periodic table although now we know the concept of periodic table which is the arrangement of chemical elements according to their chemical and physical property and the modern periodic table was created after a series of different versions of periodic tables we also know that the russian chemist professor dmitry mendeleev was the first one to come up with the structure of periodic table with columns and rows and this feature is the main building block of the modern periodic table as well since the mendeleev was able to identify that the chemical property of elements begin repeating each time after a certain number of elements so the term periods came into use and the columns in the period periodic table are called groups as they group together element with a similar property and the rows in the periodic table we call them periods as they represent the set of elements that get repeated due to possession of similar properties so what is the difference between these two yes the main difference between these two periodic table is the law they follow that is the order of the elements which they follow that is mendeleev periodic table follows the order of according to the atomic masses whereas the modern periodic table orders the element based on their atomic numbers so if we talk about the difference one by one we shall know the elements present in the periodic table that is 66 elements are present in mendeleev periodic table and 103 elements are present in modern periodic table as as of now now if we talk about the space yes there are some gaps for the missing element at that time in mendeleev periodic table to fill that future elements and in modern periodic table there is no concept as such now we talk about numbers of rows and columns in both the tables so we get seven rows that is seven periods eight columns that is eight groups in mendeleev periodic table whereas in modern periodic table we have seven periods and 18 groups so characteristics of the grouped element in mendeleev periodic table which had a dissimilarity in the same group for example the atomic number of argon is 18 and that of the potassium is 19 now according to the modern periodic table the elements are arranged in the order of increasing atomic number so the argon with the lower atomic number should come first and the potassium with the higher atomic number should come later on later after even if their atomic masses are in the wrong order this was actually missing in the mendeleev periodic table and if we talk about the existence of isotope now we know that the order of the elements in the mendeleev periodic table was based on the atomic masses and the order of the elements in the modern periodic table is on the basis of atomic number so there is a huge difference between if we talk about the existence of isotope all the isotopes have an element have the same number of proton that is they have the same number of atomic number since the all isotopes of an element have the same atomic number they should put or they should group together in a one same group of the periodic table which was actually absent in the mendeleev periodic table because there was no existence of the isotope in mendeleev whereas the modern periodic table supports this fact that the classification is based on the atomic number rather than the atomic mass of the element and now if we talk about the electronic arrangement yes by the arrangement of atomic masses there was no existence of electronic arrangement in the mendeleev periodic table whereas in the modern periodic table the electronic arrangement was grouped the element in such a manner that their atomic 
or electronic configuration can be deduced easily that is they relates the position of the elements and give rise to the periodicity of the element that is the periodicity of property we call it the properties that reappears at regular interval are called the periodic properties and the phenomena we can call it the periodicity of the elements it actually causes the periodicity of the elements of the similar kind of properties of the chemical and the physical property of the elements so friends we can see here these are the basic difference between the both the tables though they are interlinked and they mainly periodic table is just a, a father of the modern periodic table that is it is a modified version of mendeleev periodic table since they actually exist there are lot of difference between these two periodic tables now let's understand the modern periodic table friends you can see here we have the modern periodic table picture here all together we have a 103 numbers of elements present in this tabular form of periodic table where we have rows and columns so what do we have we have rows as periods we have columns as group in modern periodic table we have seven periods and we have 18 groups where the horizontal rows of the elements in the periodic table are like this these are the horizontal rows this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 so according to this group thing should be noted that the number of elements are actually correspond to the maximum number of electrons which can put in the various shells of the atom let's explain this as the number of elements in the period is fixed by the maximum number of electron which can be accommodated in the various shells of an atom for example you can see here the first period which contains two two elements we first call it a very short period as actually having filling the electrons in first shell that is only two electrons are filled in the first shell so the maximum number of electrons is only two similarly in the second period of the periodic table has eight elements because the maximum number of electrons which can be put in the second shell of an atom is eight so what we can write is here that the number of elements corresponds to the number of el electrons that is the maximum number of electrons filled in the shell that is like numbers we write 2 8 18 32 respectively now you can see that second group or second period have eight elements so we call it a short period similarly third have eight elements we call it a short period again then fourth it have 18 so we call it a long period similarly fifth is having 18 so we call it a long period as well in sixth we have 32 elements so we call it a very long period and in seventh we keep all the rest of the elements in the second seventh period though it is a very incomplete period by this we conclude that
the concept of the period i conclude that it is the number of valence electron in an atom of the element that decides which element will be the first element in the period and which element will be the last element in the period for example you can see the first one alkaline metals have one valency of electrons each so an alkaline metal is always the first element in the period Similarly, in the inert gas, usually have eight valence electrons. So, an inert gas is always at the last element in the period. Now, if we talk about the groups, that is the vertical columns, we have 18 vertical columns going from left to right. The elements in a group do not have a consecutive atomic numbers as they are actually created on the properties of the valence electron the reactivity of the element so now we shall give a notes on this points yes we can note these points which will describe the modern periodic table First is the vertical column, we call it groups. The horizontal rows, we call it periods. There are total 18 groups in the modern periodic table. And the groups are arranged from left to right. That is, first group is on the extreme left and the 18th group is on the extreme right side of the periodic table. So group 1, 2, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 are the main groups of groups element or we can also call them representative elements or the normal elements group 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 are known as transition elements the elements in the zero group that is the 18th group we call them noble gases because they don't take part in the reaction that is they are the unreactive elements of the periodic table there are seven horizontal rows that is we have seven periods in the periodic table the number of shell present in an atom determines its period as we have just discussed the period have elements with a similar valence electron as the first alkali metal all the elements having only outermost shell filling only one electron similarly the second period have two valence electron Similarly, with the third, three, fourth, fourth, so on. The first period is called the shortest period, and the sixth period is the longest and called very long period. Now, friends, we have talked about the concept, we have talked about the differences, we also learned about the table, the periods, and the groups. We learned about the similarity and dissimilarity. We learned about the types of groups and the types of elements. Now we shall talk about the demerits of this modern periodic table as the position of hydrogen is still not satisfactory as its property related to group 1 as well as to group 7 is similar. It also fails to accommodate the inner transition element that is the lanthanide and actinide series into the main body of the periodic table. So they have given the separate block and the few elements are not arranged according to their electronic configuration. So these three are these few demerits of this modern periodic table which are actually on the works of the scientists and chemists. Now, friends, let's talk about why we use this table. What is the uses of this table, which we use at the moment? These days, we use this modern periodic table. So, what are the uses of this table? As we know that the periodic table has been useful to predict the existence of new elements then 
it has been useful in the past in correcting the properties of the elements then we can also have usefulness into the study of the elements and their compounds has become systematic or easy to remember the position of the element in the periodic table tells many things like atomic number electronic configuration number of valence electron the properties of the element etc we also use this periodic table to learn the nature of chemical bond formulas of compound formed and the properties that compound can be predicted by the periodic table we also use the table to get the position of the element in the periodic table which can tell us the valency of the electron of the atom of the particular element or the whether the element is a metal or non metal because metal occupy extreme left position and the bottom of the periodic table while the non metal are the extreme right of the periodic table so these are the basic uses of the modern periodic table to enhance the knowledge on the chemistry and the compounds elements reactions now friends i this end up with my session of this modern periodic table now it's your time to do an activity where i have given only four questions for you if you have seen this video carefully attentively you will able to answer these four simple questions first is who invented the modern periodic table second why it is called the long form of periodic table you have to describe the modern periodic law and explain the features of modern periodic table so in next session we shall learn types of elements thank you